Hey there, I'm Sarah Kane with Sarah Kane Photography and I'm going to show you today how to use Photoshop Beta AI to extend this blue Flicati backdrop. Um, before Photoshop Beta, I would go in and I would clone it. Um, it would take a little bit of time, not a tremendous amount of time, but to get it to look natural, there was a little bit of a trick to it. I'm going to show you how easy it is now. So first thing you have to do is you have to make sure that you have Photoshop beta version. And then you're going to come over and whatever select tool you like, I like to use the lasso tool. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my lasso tool. And then you want to make sure that you select enough of the area you want to fill in with the area that needs the filling. So I grabbed a decent amount of the Flocati blanket. Click on Generate to Fill, and then just Generate and sit back, and Photoshop does the rest. This has been a game changer in my editing practice. Okay, so sometimes it doesn't exactly do what you want, um, but the good news is, is it gives you three options. So I'm going to come over here to the far right. First option, no, that's not what I wanted. Second option. Okay, I have no idea what that is. Third option, perfect, thankfully. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and select that option. Just make sure that it's highlighted. I'm gonna come back over and I'm gonna click on background again and I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. Um, I think before I do that, I'm gonna fill in the top. Oh no, I'll do that after. So I'm gonna come over using my same lasso tool, generative fill. Generate and sit back and watch Photoshop do its work. Okay, so didn't exactly do exactly what I wanted. Let's look at our other variations. That one would be cool if I wanted to show part of a backdrop uh, floor, white floor, but I don't. So that's what I'm going to pick. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to flatten, merge all of my images together. And then I'm just going to do a quick touch up with the uh, stamping tool. I'm always in the practice of making a second layer. So many times I've accidentally layered or edited, I mean, on the background. And when you do that, you can't go back um, and just make a mask and erase things. You're pretty much committed to that. So I am in the habit of always making a second layer. Make sure your second layer is clicked on. Just fill that in real quick with the stamp tool or the cloning tool. And you're done. So much faster. Uh, I'm just gonna crop this to make sure he's centered. Actually, he's pretty centered. Um, if you wanna stick around, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fix this hat. The hat was a little too big for the baby, so if you wanna watch how I do that, stick around. If not, Subscribe and check back for more tutorials on how to edit using the amazing Photoshop Beta AI. All right, so if we're gonna go ahead and do the hat, we're gonna make a second layer. Always again, make a duplicate layer. Come up to Filter, Liquify. When you're in Liquify, you wanna use the top tool here. It looks like um, it's called the Forward Warp Tool, but it looks like he's pushing in with a finger. So you just want to come up and you want to start shaping the hat. Make sure your brush is big enough that it will grab um, the entire area that you want and you can adjust it. Okay, so just keep making it smaller. I like it to be nice and round. And that looks good right about there. If you want to see the before and the after, at the bottom right-hand corner, you'll see preview. Click on it. There's your before. There's your after. Looks much better. All right. So thanks for watching. And again, if you would like to follow me for more tutorials on newborn editing, maternity editing, and just portrait editing in general, subscribe and follow along. Thanks so much.